So recently I had a situation where I wanted to um, republish some of the emails I was receiving in my inbox um, from specific labels and uh, I wanted basically to give anyone access to them. These were around newsletters and uh, email sent from, from Twitter which um, uh, I wanted a group of people to see. Having a search around, um, I discovered that you could create um, Atom feeds um, from uh, Google Mail, Gmail labels, uh, and there's instructions and various how-tos to do that on the web. And here's an example feed that's come out. But one of the issues when you look at this um, feed is it's just a summary of the, the email, so it's just a title, who who's sent the email. Um, so it doesn't have the body content, so that was uh, something I was particularly interested in. And I'm sure there's other um, systems to do this, to you know, which would connect to your email account and republish your email. Um, but one of the issues um, I, I felt that there was was because I was the wanting to do this with newsletters. Um, it's good practice in newsletters to have an unsubscribe link and quite often these just use obscure um, URLs, obscure web addresses so that if anyone clicked on them they could basically unsubscribe you uh, from your email, uh, from your um, newsletter subscription. So without um, discovering any other um, simple way of doing this um, I decided to create a little um, Google Apps script that um, does this for us. Um, so there's a link to the code so you can create and publish um, this app yourself so you can use it yourself and what it does is it goes checks your um, your Gmail uh, inbox for la any labels you're using so I've only got one here and when I click the preview button it goes off um, and collects the last 10 messages from that label and gives you a preview of them and it doesn't matter if the the messages are read or uh, or uh, unread um, so you you know you can set up your uh, Gmail filter however you want. When the preview comes back, you can see it's actually highlighted all the links within the email message. And so what we can do is actually click on the links that we want to remove. It's a, a very basic removal process that the script uses. Basically, it's text matching. So it's going to look for the words "manage your subscriptions." That's that's a link and then it's going to remove it from the final version. Um, so you can click as many of those as you want and then we can click add. So here's the one I just created and we've got an RSS feed so um, anyone can access this and have um, be able to view the label and you'll see it's removed uh, the links at the top and at the bottom um, so it's a, a lot safer and if we click on the a uh, single item as well. We can view that individually as well and again the links are, have been removed. So there you go, enjoy!